Liverpool got Darwin Nunes, City got Haaland, added Calvin Phillips to that as well, Alvarez has come to the club. It's going to be those two again, isn't it? I'm really excited for, for the two centre-forwards in these big two teams, you know, real traditional number nines. I thought they were dying. Yeah. You know, number nines were a gone thing. They're back. Yeah. Let's bring them back. Yeah. In fact, let's start getting two up front again yeah, instead two, of these. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's get big back. man, small man. Exactly, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Football is like that, though, isn't yeah. it? It's, uh, it's quite fashionable. Mm. If a team starts winning and they're playing in a certain way, you know, Barcelona, one of the best teams in the world a few years ago, and they played with a false nine. Now we're like, this false nine. Everyone plays with a false yeah. nine. It's, it's so fashionable. We'll get back to it, I'm sure, the uh, big man, little man mm. um, combination plays and things like that. But at the moment, we, uh, we are where we are when there's so many great attacking players. And you say, Nunes, brilliant signing. Haaland as well. How long do you think it's going to take him to settle in to the Premier League? I mean, look, everyone looks at him as one of the best number nines in world football. It does take a while, though, to get into this kind of pep sort of philosophy. I think with him, no matter what, he's going to score goals. He's going to get so many chances, he's going to score goals anyway. So if he scores, you know, 15, 20 goals, people will say, oh, see, he's scoring goals. But really, to be a success, he needs to be scoring 30-plus yeah, goals, doesn't yeah. he? The, the quality of the team that he's playing and the quality of him as a player. The one question mark I've got is when I watch him, and it might just be the style of, of how teams play, mm. and which, is, which is absolutely cool, but when I watch him, he looks strongest to me when he's getting balls played over the top, powerful runner, yeah. running onto things, good finisher, cross, high crosses coming, big tall lad, winning headers. Those two goals, the types of goals, that's not, City. That's not Man City. Yeah. That is not Man City. They don't ever cross the ball like you know, <laughs> yeah. high looping yeah. balls into the yeah. box. So what he's gonna have to do is actually score a goal like his first goal in mm. pre-season in the US. Yeah. That type of goal, like a Raheem Sterling goal, they have so many little cutbacks, they have so many balls flashing across the box. He's going to be really a, a penalty box player. Uh, of course, a link-up play outside, but I think it's going to be fascinating. And I think he's, he's capable of scoring yeah. a different type of goal, definitely. But I don't think his stereotypical goal, I don't think we'll see too many of that. Now, against Liverpool in the community year, Liverpool play with the high line, so mm. there was a few occasions when he could, have, he could have got in. But you think the majority of the Premier League, when you're playing against Man City, they're what do you do? You sit sit deep. Deep. No way they're going to let him in there. Mm. So I think he's going to have to be more of a fox in the box for Man City, but I do think he's capable. Yeah, a lot of people say Haaland's coming because of the Champions League, right? In terms of, that's Pep's Achilles heel with Man City, and I guess with Bayern Munich before that, Champions League... He will do better in the Champions League, I think, Haaland, right? Where teams maybe don't sit deep, they go for it. And that's when I expect him to be really good. I do, yeah. I think Haaland's <clears throat> top quality. And I did smile the other day when, when he missed a couple of chances because I've always had this big bugbear, you know, with, with people, how they judge a performance. If you miss a chance, it means you get a four in the paper the next day. It's like you played badly. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. When you watch him play, when I watched him the other day, a rebound came off the goalkeeper and he, he hit it over or hit the bar or whatever mm. he did. And I was just mesmerised by, you watch as, some, as, as the players striking that ball, everybody's just stood there watching. Mm. He is light, he's, he's gone, not just he? a split yeah. second, he's yeah. light years ahead of everyone <laughs> yeah. thinking, I'm going to get a chance. Yeah. If he's, I mean, he is, obviously, he's, a, he's an absolute predator. Um, he knows where the ball's going to drop, he's got that feel for a chance coming. And I was just, forget the, the finish, he'll score that nine times out of ten, forget that. I mean, that's just an inevitability. The way he moved, I just thought, wow, he's mm. going to score loads of goals in this team. Um, and that's how I view a centre-forward. As I say, yeah. it's always been a bugbear of mine when people say, oh, he missed a chance, he played rubbish. All right, you wait to see him in the Premier League then and, and in the Champions League, as you say. Mm. He's going to score so many goals. Right, I'm going to put you on the spot here now. Give me your top five goal scorers this season. What are you thinking? A lot of big well, strikers now in the Premier yeah. League. Yeah, so Haaland is going to be right up there and Salah. You've got Kane. Yep. Um, go on, in order, what are we doing then? So, go let's go, um, let's go Haaland as top Ooh. goal scorer. Ooh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> golden boot for Haaland. Golden boot for Haaland. Then I'm going to go Salah. Yeah, never lets you down. Never lets you down. Yeah. Kane never lets you down. I'm going to go for... Will Darwin Nunes score enough to be <laughs> top five? Uh, Son. Yeah. I'm going to go for Son. Underrated, I think, Son. Criminally underrated. I mean, you could make a de you could have a good debate on who's who's yeah. more important, him or Kane, yeah. in that Tottenham team. I mean, what a finisher! Brilliant. You must look at him, left yeah, foot, right brilliant. foot, anything. 
absolutely brilliant. All right, that's four. Last yeah. one. And I'm going to go for, I don't think anyone from Arsenal. I don't think You Jesus. don't think Jesus does no, it? I don't think so. No. I might have to go for Darwin Nunes. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just thinking uh, Chelsea, no. Chelsea haven't got anyone, no. have they? Sorry, Raheem Sterling. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to go for I'm gonna go two Liverpool players, okay. two Tottenham and one Manchester City, yeah.